All right, so allow me a moment to complain. I've uh, been using some of the new AI stuff, you know, that everybody's up in arms about OpenAI and DeepSeek and all these things. So I've been working on a project recently where I've been trying to actually use these new AI tools to work out some code. And I'm, and I'm working on a Android Bluetooth app and I've done this before, but I did it last time in a different environment. So I'm trying to do it in actual like Kotlin and JavaScript, stuff like that. And it's a lot more difficult and I just, I'm not a programmer. So using the AI tools that are supposed to do all this stuff, right? And I've been using the cutting edge stuff because I, I pay for ChatGPT. And so let me just show you what you get out of the new O3 reasoning models that are now out there. So one of the things with the, the newer ChatGPT models is even though I'm paying $20 a month, there's still like limited access to the top end stuff because again, it, it's very expensive on there and to run this. So you only get a limited number of inputs before they you know bounce you out and you have to go use something else. So I've been going back and forth between like chat GPT 4.0 and then the 01. And now that they've got the 03, I've been using some of the 03 stuff. And what I've noticed is that 01, pretty good. Uh, 4.0 is very fast, but not as good. But the new 03 models have a real problem where they don't actually give you output. So I'm like burning my tokens and my inputs because again, I only have so many and I'm not getting anything out of it. So here I've been working on some library conflicts and some different things to, to work out what I need to be doing. And the thing is, is that if I switch to this O3 mini high model and I ask it a question, look at its output. Here's its reasoning. And then nothing. It, it I'm asking it, hey, what code do I need to use? Right. So I say, hey, you're supposed to give me code for all this stuff. It does its whole reasoning thing and no output. I ask it again. You didn't give me any output. I'm just seeing your reasoning. I need the code, right? Nothing. I'm not getting anything. Now, let me try and I'll switch over to just the O3 mini instead of the high end model, right? And let's see what we get. So let me uh, let me just try that again and get any code from your output. And there we have it. Still nothing. It just talks through the problem to me. And that's it, right? This is supposed to be the new hot stuff and four tries in a row won't give me code. Now you might think maybe it's a prompting error. Maybe I just, I'm not AIing correctly. So let me switch and we'll go up to uh, 4.0 and let's see what it does. Immediately starts giving me code. Now, is the code good? No, not really. <laughs> That's why I've been trying to use the more advanced models because I'm banging my head against some of the, the problems with Bluetooth. It's kind of a mess. And uh, yeah, so the <laughs> there it's even pulling in sources and stuff, right? 4.0 is doing all kinds of stuff, giving me lots of output, which hasn't always been exceedingly useful. And then the O3 models given me nothing. I can't use the 01 model anymore. I've used up my, my uses for, I don't know, a while until they give me more access. So let's compare this because the other new hotness is the DeepSeek, right? So I've been running DeepSeek locally. Now, it's not like truly DeepSeek because if you're not aware, you can't actually run the full R1 models. Instead of being able to use the full R1 model, because that's, I don't know, 350 gigabytes or whatever, I've been using one of the distilled models. And the specific one I've been trying is this Fuse 01 DeepSeek R1 QWQ Sky T1 32 billion parameter model. So it's not a little model. It's a distilled model, though. So it's not the full one. Uh, it is based on Quinn 2, and it's supposed to be pretty high performance. If you look at their charts, you know, here's its supposed performance. The uh, the Fuse 01 32 billion parameter preview is supposed to outperform the DeepSeek R1 32 billion parameter. It's supposed to outperform the OpenAI 01 MIDI, and it's supposed to keep pace with the OpenAI 01 model, the, the full 01 model. I am running it locally. I've got a 3090. It runs pretty well. Now I am running the four bit quantized version of the model because I can't do the full one because I've only got you know so much VRAM. But uh, let me show you what happens with this distilled model. I can't run it for you while I show it to you because 
Uh, there's a GPU conflict. I can't run the model on the GPU while I'm screen capping because NV encoder, just I don't have enough resources, right? But I do have like one of my more recent queries here where I'm asking it some of the same questions because I'm doing a little A-B testing, right? The, the deep seek stuff's supposed to be great. So I want to see how it holds up. Um, so I'm looking at it and it's giving me code. And then all of a sudden it falls into a hole and it just starts repeating itself over and over and over until I manually stop it. And the thing is, is that this isn't a one-off. Um, I've done this session like three or four times. I've modified the temperature settings. I've modified the p-values on everything. Uh, the, this particular deep seek distilled model just falls apart. It, it probably half the time, whenever I ask it something complicated, it just falls into a repetitive loop regardless of what settings I run this thing at. Um, and it's very frustrating to use. If you can't tell, I'm like, I'm a little passionate about this stuff today because I've been working on this problem for a couple of days and both OpenAI and this local DeepSeek model just keep falling apart. And I'm seeing all these people talk about how awesome DeepSeek is and it's killing OpenAI and AI's taking over it's going to, you know, put everybody out of work. And I'm just like, dude, right now I'm having to fix problems because the most advanced AI models can't do fairly basic stuff. I mean, the O1 model from ChatGPT did a pretty decent job, but I went back and forth with it for four hours on a problem before I just sat down and went through it line by line myself and fixed it because it just could not get itself straightened out. It kept cycling through problem over problem over problem, giving me the same solutions like in an endless cycle. It just couldn't think its way out of it until finally I just sat down with a known working example and fit stuff in and made it work. And, and this has been my experience for over a year now. I mean, since ChatGPT4 released, this has been the same experience where they do all the simple stuff and it's like, wow, and then you give it anything moderately complex and it just explodes. And here we are with brand new models and people are talking about the level of expenditure and capability. And you're getting charts like this that it's like, oh, these things are nailing 95% of the math questions, right? The code bench they're doing, you know, almost as good as a real programmer and their PhD level at all this crap. And it's like, how come it can't do borderline stuff that somebody that's not trained in software can do, right? A hobbyist has to come in and fix problems and these, you know, genius AIs can't can't do very basic things. I mean, we're talking about code that all fits in one file half the time because I'm working on like microcontrollers. I'm not creating libraries. I'm doing stuff that runs in one contained file. Um, it's just not that complex and they're falling apart. And I, I don't know. I, I think I'm just, I've seen so much this past week because of the deep seek stuff. And then I try to use it and people are talking about how great these distilled models are. And I'm like, this is worse. This doesn't do as good as the open AI stuff. And the open AI stuff is, is not probably worth what I'm paying for it. So anyway, I just, you know, <laughs> been frustrated for the past couple days working with this, so I thought I would uh, share that opinion with you. I don't know if you value it or not, but there it is. Uh, I'm going to keep banging my head up against the wall. Hopefully, I will have a really cool project ready for you within the next week or so that I've been working on. Um, I just got to get some stuff finished, and I'm pretty close with it. Uh, my AI tools, I, I think, are basically just at their limit, so I'm just going to have to do it myself. But anyway, appreciate the time as always. Thanks.